name's Gary Slater and um, I'm an original musician. I've been playing original music for 40 years this year and um, the most well-known band I was in was in the 80s, a band called um, Voodoo Lust. Um, started off in the 70s playing yeah, a few covers early on then started writing straight away and um, I've been writing ever since and I'm currently playing in a band called um, Dr Bombay. Voodoo Lust um, released a single in 1985 called Shake Shake Hey Yeah. Then not too many Brisbane original bands had sort of released records, so it was quite, it was quite a big deal, and it, um, it was really well received. It actually again went to number one on the indie charts, which um, yeah, we were really proud of. And um, back then, to live in Brisbane and actually sort of push that any further, you had to move into state, which um, obviously with bands like Powderfinger now just you know seemed hard to understand. But back then, everything was set up around Sydney and Melbourne, especially Sydney, especially with the rock scene. So. Video last as soon as that single started doing well, we packed up everything and moved and um, established ourselves in Sydney. Lucky enough in Voodoo Lust, the guitarist was very anal and kept a logbook, so we, we established we did a thousand and twenty gigs in six years, which um, you do the maths on that, we're talking three and a half to four a week and um, it's amazing really to think these days bands just unfortunately for them really, because like that's it's such a good opportunity to just play what you, what you want to do is play live, you know, and it's just so good to be able to do that many shows. These days, they, they just can't ever do that, you know, it might be 30 or 40 a year, they play a lot of festivals and a tour here and there, but the festivals obviously have eaten up the whole live, live scene. Record deals are also something that often I'm asked about and that it's interesting as a musician, you know, you seem to aspire and, and, and believe that that is, that is what you need and etc. And um, back, in, back in the 80s it was interesting because of the difference of mainstream and independent music. If you were signed to a major record label you immediately lost your independent status which generally lost your crowd and etc. etc. And um, I mean, Voodoo Lust offered two deals. We said no both times because of that. Midnight Oil, another great example, and set the standard for a band to do it on their own. To this day, luckily a few bands have followed that example. After Voodoo Lust, I was um, lucky enough to be asked to join the Trilobites, which was a fantastic opportunity. We did an album together, um, American producer, it was fantastic fun. Um, Rob Younger also worked with us, and um, it was fantastic. Um, I moved up to Brisbane after that, joined a, um, well, started a Brisbane band with a pile of songs I've written called Grumpy. We played around for a few years. Um, lucky enough now, I have a, a new band going. We're in the process of recording an album now, and the band is called Dr. Bombay working with a, a great producer called Jeff Lovejoy, who's um, worked with Regurgitator, Powderfinger, etc. So, good stuff. I'm lucky enough, to, after 40 years, to still be active. So it's interesting to look at the uh, future for myself and, you know, where I'll head from here. 40 years is a long time, but um, I still feel good. I, um, I hope to at least, you know, I'd like to sing until I die, really, like I guess most performers. That's what we want to do. Um, you know, I, I really see myself releasing another three or four albums at least. And, um, you know, I'd like to leave some sort of legacy, obviously, and just as long as I can play live music and I'm fit and healthy and I can write songs, you know, I, I, there's nothing else that makes me happier. So, you know, that's, that's my life ambition.